Ready? Yep. See them. One. Hi there, I'm Louis. I did my media company case study on uh, the BBC. Um, what areas do the BBC work in is, uh, well, there's quite a variety. There's television, radio, news and journalism, uh, business and support. And I did quite a lot of research on all of these subjects, but uh, I looked into radio mostly. I found out uh, <laughs> this is basically how many people uh, work for the industry, like over 20,000 and uh, uh, literally almost 80% uh, of those people uh, show like their faces, they're in public broad broadcasting and stuff. Uh, so in TV, radio, news and journalism, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> So I found that uh, this is what uh, I did quite a bit of research on, is uh, what kind of contracts do the BBC uh, literally focus on? They've got like continuing contracts, which is a uh, permanent contract, which is no expiry, uh, like literally permanent contract, there's like no end to the contract. So if you want to resign, you can resign by the way, if you want to be, uh, or the uh, BBC on the BBC's first day, you can uh, dismiss them. Uh, you've got a fixed term contract, which is uh, like a certain duration, which has an expiry date, um, which the, uh, it, it has all the all the benefits of a continuing contract, but it has like a certain date which you uh, have a fixed contract for. Um, then you've got a flexi contract, which is uh, it enables the employee to work for a certain amount of days and hours, so it's like a part-time thing, and yeah, basically they give you a certain amount of uh, contracted hours that the BBC industry give you, because it's such a big uh, company, there's only like a cer uh, certain amount of people that can take on board, and it's like one way to prove yourself, you can go into the flex contract, and etc. Uh, you've got uh, a casual contract, which is exactly the same uh, when when working. Uh, yeah, it, it's it, it's basically if there's like a, on the continuing contracts, if you've all got like lo loads of news and journalism, and, uh, and you've got a deadline to go for, uh, it's it, it's basically like uh, if they can take extra people on board to help complete those deadlines, uh, which is really really cool. Uh, so that that's how the BBC they are able to keep up to their name, and they don't like tarnish that name. Uh, they can take extra people on board um, to help complete those certain objectives. Uh, it's, it's the same with like the agent, uh, the temporary agency contracts, which uh, <coughs> basically it's uh, depending. Uh, it's dependent on business needs. Uh, the BBC uh, literally uh, <laughs> they get the temporary requirements they need from the agencies, and they take those guys on board for what stuff they need at the current time. So it's similar to a casual contract, but they take on the skill that's required straight away from the agencies that these people are employed for. Uh, you've got the freelance contracts, which uh, it, basically it's, they, they take, a, they throw people like a lot out there, which they have, they've had uh, experience in, in the past for, uh, in other like, uh, God. <laughs> in other like uh, outside uh, industries and then they take those guys on board and then they uh, throw them out, outside in the open uh, to take on board like you see those guys on the reports and stuff like they're out, 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 out and about and that's, that's the, basically the freelance contracts. <sighs> So I found out the uh, company's uh, really, really uh, old. It's, uh, it was founded in 1922, and it's basically 93 years, uh, years old. <laughs> Got a few pictures when the, the, the whole thing really started. Uh, that's the old BBC Studios. You see like uh, how big the microphones were back then, which is uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, who established the BBC? Uh, basically, uh, it's John Reith. Uh, after the BBC kind of like evolved uh, from, it, he took over um, a few months after the, this company was like uh, get get started, and uh, back in the London studios, which was like uh, known as Two L O, which was in the Coney, uh, yeah, beginning in the Coney's uh, studios, uh, John Reith was appointed as uh, the general manager and. 
transformed it to the BBC. And that's... Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything that I did research for the BBC. And uh, the reason why I'd like to work for this company is uh, I just find it's an absolutely really, really cool company. It's, uh, uh, I really like the radio side, the uh, television side, and I think it would be like a really, really good experience. I've always been passionate about the BBC, and I always love reading up their stuff. And that's uh, everything that I've done for the presentation. If there's any questions? Thank you very much. That's a good bit on the contracts as well. It's quite good to understand how um, a company as big as the BBC yeah. links the way they hire you with the workflow of the company. So yeah. you know, if you work for a show that doesn't get produced all year round, they'll take you on for six weeks, eight weeks, ten weeks, whatever it is. Uh, so say you've got a